subscribers and fellow non-subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please hit the bell for any notifications of upcoming videos. Um, but today, we're working on a 2008 Chevy Cobalt um, LT. As you see there, um, what we're doing is the sway bar uh, link on the driver's side and sway bar bushings for both sides. The sway bar link on the passenger side has already been replaced. Um, but first off, whoa. I've already done a pretty detailed job up here, intake gaskets, valve cover gaskets, so forth and so on. I didn't need to really make a video on that since uh, there's already some out there. But I figured I'd do a pretty good detailed job on the sway bar bushings. Make sure you get some uh, wheel chucks. Put up the emergency brake. Jack up both sides. Put up some jack stands. Uh, make sure you loosen your lug nuts first. Okay, both sides. You see the same. Alright. Nice and clean engine. Yeah, when I work on cars, I typically try to clean the engine bay up. Um, I'm curious what I use to shine it with. Yeah, it's for tire shine, but I use McGuire's Hot Shine Tire Spray uh, because I also clean the tires up. Um, works pretty good on this part here. As you see, this is pretty shiny now. It was pretty dull. I mean, it won't last long, but, you know... It just gives a good impression. Um, so, next thing you do is take your lug nuts off and the tire. Okay. Once you get your tire off, your sway bar bushing is right there, as you can see. Let's see if I can see better. Yeah, that bad boy is shot. Um, and this sway bar link happens to be the 13 inch which is the wrong one now uh, this car's supposed to have the performance size so uh i'll go ahead and swap one side just gotta get another side and while you're under here you know check for leaks um you also it's very wise to uh, check your axles um that's a definite on that uh one you want to do and then you can while you're also in here you can check your brake pads these look pretty decent all right now to change these bad boys out it's a little difficult as you can see right there is one of the bolts and i believe that may be the only bolt but as you can see that's going to be a pain uh to get to um, but I'm gonna see what tools I need because it's actually the first time I've done this so I'm gonna have to see what I need to do um, but first of all I'm gonna get this sway bar link out of the way okay as you can see uh, the top one kind of kinked over um, and the bottom one did also, so I'm going to have to try to hammer that out. on this uh, and then I'll get all right got her out now an 11 inch will fit perfectly in that but kind of show you a lot of play in that and this one's actually got a busted bushing um, so no good 
when I get ready to put on the new one, um, I'll show you part numbers and so forth. Now, this is going to be the fun part. Check that in there. Parts bin. Right. Next, it's tackling in here. Uh, yeah, I may be able to get a socket in here. Is there a bolt on this side? I can't even get my finger in there. Let me see. Can I get my finger down there? No, I can't. So it looks like it may be held on by one bolt. I'm going to find out what size it is, and then I'll let you all know. Um, as you can see, I have a 15 millimeter with a small extension on a 3-8 socket. You don't got much room to move. But as you can see, it's coming out. So I'm going to work on getting this out and I'll get back with you. Okay y'all, here's this piece, here's the bolt, that way you kind of have an idea, gives you some light here, but uh, there's the bolt, so you can kind of get an idea how big it is, and there's the bushing off. See that hole right there? You got the hole there and then you got the hole there. That hole back there is where this back piece slides down in there. What do we got here? Oh. Huh. Got a rock. Well, oh. and then it's gonna be fun. Ah, okay. Uh, there. Uh, there we go. There's one lovely bushing out. There's an old one. Now I'm going to go in and get the new one. And I'll be right back. Here's a tie rod, not tie rod, <laughs> uh, my bad, uh, sway bar link, link as in hooks to sway bar, hooks to strut, here's a new one that's performance size, that's 11 inches, I'll go get the old one to kind of show you the difference in size. Where does she go? I know I tossed it in here. Right there in front of my face. But it's only that much bigger. And if you end up putting a, this back on, you're gonna have to really tug on that sway bar to get this to fit. Um, but this 11 inch snaps in perfect now there's the other sway bar link from the other side but okay so there's your link yeah it is value craft and a lot of people say it's crap but actually the value craft performance sway bar links are actually pretty darn good um okay these are also the Duralast performance uh, bushings. Hmm. Set y'all down a second. All right, so here's your, there's your old and there's your new.
There's the bottom. Tops. And, ah, these are actually OEM. <laughs> Go figure. OEM. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna work on getting this on. And uh, basically in a nutshell, the way I took this off is the way it goes back on. Um, so just go backwards and how you did it and you get it all back on. I wanna thank you all for watching and remember, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, like the video, comment below, uh, anything will help. And um, look forward to seeing you in the next video. And remember, if it's broke, fix it.